This last video is all about practice problems. What I would like for you to do is to continuously be pausing this video, looking through the example problem, trying it on your own, and then checking the solution that's either at the bottom or on the next page. So before you look at the solution, try it first. This is very good review. So pause your video, see if you can do this first one. Then pause your video, cover up the answer, do the self-test for the second one. Try these guys. Write the number of significant figures for each of the following measurements, and then you can check them down here. Here's another, writing the number of significant figures for A and B, and then checking them down here. Here's four more, checking for significant figures. Check them down here. Another for significant figures from the one before it. Here's some more self-test with the answers below. Some more trying. Round off these to three significant figures. Here's our ones to try. Here's your answers. Perform the following calculations to give the answers with the correct number of significant figures. The answers are on the next page. Check those answers. Here's another self-test for three more practice problems and the answers. Perform these calculations. The answers are on the next page. Here are those answers. Another self-test, two more practice problems with the answers at the bottom. Writing your equalities or your conversion factors. There's four on here to practice. Two more to practice equalities. Here's a practice problem. Greg's doctor had a PET scan of his heart. He weighs 164 pounds. What is his body mass in kilograms? Given that conversion factor, the answer is on the next page. You can check that answer. Two more self-practice ones. I gave you the conversion that you would need for part A. And I showed work so that you could see A and B how I got the answers. Here's another one. The answer is on the following page. Two more self-test questions. This is using a percent as a conversion factor. So try this one. The answer is on the next page. Two more practice ones down here at the bottom for you to check. Here's one converting units, miles per gallon to kilometers per liter, given conversion factors down here that you need. Check your answer. Two more self-test ones at the bottom here. Here's one calculating density. The answer is on the next page. Two more practice ones with density to check your answers at the bottom. And then finally, our last two practice problems. You need to know this conversion factor for how many milliliters there are in one pint of blood. And if you have any questions on any of these, please email me.